I find it strange that atheists speak about human rights as if they have something worthwhile to say and as if they actually believe in those rights. The best you can get from naturalism is that morality is an illusion created by our genes to help us survive. Morality doesn't actually exist in the external world. Say there is a child that is being given some bread and it's a poor starving child that someone is helping and there is another case in which another child is being kicked to death. From an atheistic point of view this is merely two arrangements of matter. The only difference between them is that one arrangement of matter is different to another. Morality is subjective. It is a fad. We could have evolved to have six fingers rather than five. We could have evolved to see murdering children as something good. So morality is purely arbitrary from their point of view. The evolution of morality, their explanation in terms of natural selection doesn't actually explain the ontological existence of morality. It merely explains away morality. So people like Richard Dawkins, when they speak about religion is bad, this is good, we must fight for justice. At the same time, he writes that there is in the universe no good, no bad, no design. It is pitiless indifference. How can he hold these two views which can't clearly contradict each other? This is intellectual hypocrisy. The beliefs that you hold deep down inside about morality is different to the intellectual arguments you're giving against morality. And this has been extrapolated to the entire atheist movement who don't realize that they have no right to speak about rights when they don't believe they exist. So why is their movement predicated on this is right, this is wrong, we are fighting for justice, we're fighting for human freedom, for human rights and so on and so forth. In fact, their behavior only goes to show the Islamic conception of fitra makes perfect sense. The fitra says there is a creator and the fitra teaches us, it, not teaches us, it is a drive inside us to recognize that there is right and wrong. But from an atheistic point of view, there is no right and wrong. So why is it these atheists speak about right and wrong as if it actually exists, as if right and wrong objectively is out there, which is what we as Muslims believe. It's simply because even though they're trying to disbelieve in God, the fitra is still inside them. They still recognize right and wrong still exists. But if they want to be intellectually sound, if they want to be intellectually complete, what they need to do is that they need to bring their intellectual beliefs in line with their actual deep down beliefs about morality and to do that they simply need to accept the existence of God because the existence of God makes perfect sense with objective morality. Atheism doesn't.